Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Remember tonight's MLB main slate for today on DraftKings. Before we continue though, if you could leave a like, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that. You can also follow me on Twitter at cpen underscore 16. And just some quick announcements. If uh, you want this copy of the cheat sheet, you can drop your email in the comments below. So you'll be able to check out the cheat sheet, the hitting model, all the stats you need, and the pitching model. So I think it's really useful. So if you want if you want that, just drop your email in the comments below and I'll send it to you as soon as I can. And on Friday, we're going to have our UFC video again. I know last week he did really good. He went 10-2 in his picks and uh, he did take down a tournament. He came in first place on the sprawl. So uh, you guys should be looking forward to that. And also the NASCAR video is going to be on Friday as well because the race is going to be on Saturday night this time instead of Sunday afternoon. So just a heads up so you don't miss out on that. All right, so anyway, let's get into the cheat sheet. So uh, my uh, SP1 tonight is going to be Chris Sale, 10,400. He looks to be back with three great starts in a row under his belt. Now he's a heavy favorite going against the Orioles who have a 27% K rate to lefties. And I think he's in line for, going to be in line for a win tonight, so that's going to boost his floor with Andrew Kashner being on the mound so, on the other side. So I really like Chris Sale tonight. And then uh, Kyle Hendricks. 8,400. I think he's going to be pretty popular uh, coming off a really good game versus the Marlins. Um, he gets to face a weak Miami lineup with a 27% K rate, which is most in the league. And they have a like one of the league, a league low 104 ISO and 275 Woba. I forgot to check the wind if it's blowing in or not. So if the wind is blowing in, it's going to be a big boost to uh, Hendricks. But uh, either way, it's a good matchup. So I really like Hendricks. And then uh, Kyle Gibson, 7,700. I feel like I play him a lot, but and I hate playing him, but it's a good matchup versus Toronto. He's in a he's a big ground ball guy, so let's just hope he doesn't get blown up here. And I think he's in a good spot. And I do think he's gonna be in line for the wings. I do think the twins are gonna put up some runs tonight. Then at catcher, I almost left the section blank because there really is really no good catcher options today. But I put two here. Uh so Casale at thirty four hundred. He gets a nice righty and lefty matchup versus Anderson. And uh Tyler Flowers, thirty three hundred. I know it's Kershaw, but uh he hits lefties extremely well. He's usually priced around the four K range when he goes going against the lefty, but uh we're getting a nice discount there, so I don't mind if you want to go there. And then at first base, we have Mark Reynolds, 4,200. I love the Rockies tonight. Well, first let me say, I know this game might get canceled, so I am aware of that. Uh, so if, if it does get canceled, you're going to have to erase half the cheat sheet, but it's, it says a 50% chance of rain during the game, and it's freezing. So just keep an eye on Twitter. It might not play, So, but I, I'll post updates on the uh, cheat sheet, and I'll try to put them in the comments on YouTube as well. I uh, just to update some plays since you know half the GG might get wiped out, but let's just pretend it is playing. And uh, so Mark Reynolds, forty two hundred. I love the Rockies tonight versus Derek Holland. Holland is great versus lefties, but gets torn apart by righties. And this is not the state you want to be if you're a fly ball lefty. So I really like the Rockies righties tonight. And then Mitch Moreland, forty seven hundred. Cashner keeps the ball on the ground to righties, but lefties are going to put the ball in the air. And I love the lefties from Boston. Really, the whole lineup's in play, but uh, definitely like the lefties a lot. Then Brandon Belt, 4,400. I like John Gray, but just not at home versus lefties. That's where he's going to struggle, so don't mind going with Belt. And then Joe Panic, 3,900. Really the same reasons I like Belt. And then Jose Altuve, 4,400. Still too cheap, even though he's been pretty cold recently, especially last night. <laughs> Fortunately played him. But uh, Lopez is not a good pitcher, and the Astros should have their own should have their way with him. And then uh, Daniel Descalzo, 3,900. Urena gives up a lot of hard contact to lefties, and he should be leading off, and he has a near 200 ISO versus righties, so I don't mind using him. I should mention Starling Castro is only 2,800, and he would really open up a lot of salary. And then third base, Nolan Arenado, 5,500. I mean, if this game plays, he's the number one playing the board by far. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to hit a home run versus Derek Collin. I believe he has two home runs off of him in his career. Not very many at-bats either, and... You know, he just crushes lefties, 320 ISO versus lefties, and, you know, I think it's the perfect matchup for Arenado. Then uh, Eugenio Suarez, 4,300. Not the best park but, at all, but I always love him versus lefties, where he's a 251 ISO. I know the Reds got no hit by Mike Fires last night. That was pretty unbelievable. <laughs> Can't believe Mike Fires, but I like them to bounce back here. Well, some of the bats, anyway. Then uh, Alex Bregman, 5,300. He was only 13% last night, and I expect that to be lower with his price being around Arenado. I think he's in a great spot versus Lopez, but I do prefer Renato. But uh, if that game plays, it makes it easier to play uh, Bregman. Uh, I think he's in a great spot. And then at shortstop, Trevor Store, 5,600. It's really just going to be in your best interest to try to get him and Arenado in your lineups if the game plays. He has a 327 ISO versus lefty, and the matchup is just too good. I really love the spot for Story. And then uh, Corey Seager, 3,800. He's always cheap, and I like him versus righties, and he's projected to back cleanup. Then uh, Brandon Crawford, 3,500. He hits low in the order, but it's a nice way to get some cheap exposure to course tonight with the lefty versus gray. 
then in the outfield, uh, we're going we're gonna to see a lot of Red Sox here. And uh, high price outfield, Mookie Betts, 5,400. We can still attack Cashner from both sides of the plate. I know I said I like the lefties a lot, but the whole lineup's really in play once again. I mean, the bullpen's bad, Cashner's bad, and these guys are just some elite hitters. And then uh, Max Kepler, f- oh, wait, sorry, skipped a row. Michael Brantley, 5,100. Prices come up a lot, but that just reflects how good he's been. He gets the lefty on righty matchup versus Lopez, so I really like him. I know it's hard to you know pay that much for him when you got guys like JD and Ben Attendee below him, but if you're going to stack the Astros, I wouldn't leave him out. Then uh, JD Martinez, 4900 He's still too cheap, and he should be around where Betts is priced, so I expect him to be popular once again, but it's for a good reason. And uh, mid-range outfield, we've got Andrew Ben Attendee, 4900 So like I said, the whole lineup's in play, but the lefties are preferred, and Ben Attendee's a lefty, and he should be leading off. And Max Kepler, 4,300. Thornton has not been good versus the lefties. He's allowing a 275 ISO, and it's a good park for hitting. I think the Twins are a sneaky stack tonight. I know I really don't have any Twins listed, but guys like Kepler, Rosario, Marvin Gonzalez, and uh, just any other lefties in the lineup are all in play, even the whole lineup, like Nelson Cruz. So I think they're going to be sneaky tonight. And then uh, Chris Davis, 4,100. He's approaching the 3K range with his power versus righties, and I don't mind taking a stab here for a cheap home run versus Sonny Gray. Then in the value outfield, you have Marvin Gonzalez, 3,200. Thornton is, I already said that, so you get the idea. And then Ian Desmond, 4,000. Righty versus Holland, he has great career numbers versus him. And then Jackie Bradley, 3,100. The price is deserved at 3,100 because he sucked. But I just saw lefties versus Cashner, and this one's dirt cheap. And now let's go to some of the core plays. Right now I got Sale and Hendricks at pitchers, Arenado at third baseman with the game plays, and then Ben Tendy at the out in the outfield at 4,900. And then the impactful weather, I already said cores, and then I already put an update that Castro is 2,800, so I don't want using him. And the top stacks today are going to be the Rockies, the Red Sox, the Astros, and the Twins. All right, guys, anyway, that's all I have for the video. If you have any questions, you can comment below. And uh, yeah, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that, and good luck today.